Welcome to this uh, screencast on equilibrium positions, definition and calculation, which is part of the series Lagrange mechanics. In this lecture, we will look into the definition of equilibrium position and into how to calculate equilibrium positions. So let us start. An equilibrium position is defined, let me choose the laser pointer, an equilibrium position is defined as a position that is constant. And when we say constant, we mean time independent. So it doesn't change in time. Therefore, the velocity corresponding to this position, Q0, is zero, eh? Q dot zero is zero. And the acceleration corresponding to this equilibrium position is zero as well. Let us look at an example of an equilibrium position using the pendulum. So if we consider this pendulum with generalized coordinate theta and center of mass Z, it has two equilibrium positions in the region smaller than 2p. The first equilibrium position is theta is zero, and the second equilibrium position is theta is p. In this case, it is rather simple to see this directly, but in general, we will need an equation to be able to find the equilibrium positions of a mechanical system. Let us derive back to the Lagrange equation. You see it here on the right-hand side of the screen. And we will need to make some assumptions. The first one is that since we have time-independent solutions, this means that there are no external forces or moments because forces and moments are time dependent, external forces and moments. And there are no damper forces because damper forces depend, depend on Q dot. So the conclusion is that the non-conservative generalized forces are zero. And therefore our new Lagrange equation is an equation with zero on the right hand side. The second assumption is that we have no prescribed displacements, which means that the kinetic energy can be written, as you see here, that is one half of Q dot transpose times the mass matrix, which can be Q dependent times Q dot. So now we will look into the terms which depend on the kinetic energy. So as I just said, at an equilibrium position, the Lagrange equation reads like this at this point, and the kinetic energy reads like this. So if we consider the first term in the Lagrange equation, the question is, what is the expression for this? Well, first we will derive the expression of T to Q dot, and this is M of Q times q dot. And now if we take the time derivative of this, we will find on the one hand mass times acceleration, q double dot. And then we have a second term, which is the derivative of m with respect to time. And that gives us q dot transpose m to q, q dot. At this point, we need to Remember that for an equilibrium position, equilibrium position Q0, the velocity is zero and the acceleration is zero, which means that, the, that these two terms decide. And therefore, the term T to Q dot and then to time is equal to zero. Let us now look at the second term in the Lagrange, T to Q. The expression for this term is derivative of t to q is what you see here, one half of q dot transpose m to q, q dot. And the reason for this is that the only term in the kinetic energy up here, which depends on q, is the mass matrix m of q. And again, if we consider that the velocity for the equilibrium positions must be zero, that t to q is also zero. So if we now we put everything and we consider that 
the generalized forces must be zero at the equilibrium position. That's this zero here. And then we have found that this term is zero and this term t to q is zero as well. So we are left with v to q, which leads us to v to q transpose is equal to zero. And this is the equilibrium equation. And please note that v to q is a row. So if we take the transpose, we have a column. And then this zero is also a column of zeros. So we will have as many equations as generalized coordinates. Let us now look at the example of the pendulum. So if we consider the pendulum again, we have the generalized coordinate theta here. And now we have taken a length 2L, so the distance from the uh, center of mass to the origin is L. And the potential energy for this pendulum is MGL cosinus theta. In order to find the equilibrium positions, we need to solve this equation, V to Q is zero. So the first thing is to obtain V to Q. And V to Q in this case is minus MGL sinus theta. So to find the equilibrium positions, we need to say that this expression should be equal to zero. And only the values of theta that comply with this are equilibrium positions. And those are, of course, theta zero is P times N, with N is zero plus minus one, plus minus two, etc. So if now we plot this potential energy, we find a curve like this, a cosinus. So it's maximum at zero and at 2p and minimum at uh, p. And those are, of course, the equilibrium positions. So the first equilibrium position is at a maximum of the function, the second equilibrium position at a minimum of the function, and the third one at a maximum again. So as you see, the equilibrium positions of a system are the extrema of the function, of the potential energy function. And I leave it to you to think about which of these positions is stable and which is unstable. And we will talk about it next time. Thank you.